Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Days Real Lives reaction video. This week I'll be reacting to Sin's explosive wedding. Yep, Sin, Sierra and Ben got married this week. I was worried that they weren't going to get married because I saw the promo and the bomb going off. And I was like, oh my gosh. Do not tell me they're going to mess with my couple. But no, they got married before the bomb went off. Thank goodness. But now Ben's missing. Mm -hmm. They had a beautiful ceremony with Jewelry um, marrying them. But I'm like, why the hell is Rafe walking Sierra down the aisle? No. It's the constipated ass walking sick. Sierra, beautiful ass, down the aisle, was just so fucking wrong, like, seriously, he was her stepdad for two seconds, why wasn't Sean or Doug walking her down the aisle, that makes no sense, I'm sorry, all this Rafe love for no fucking reason, like, seriously, he's not all that, he's just, ugh, it just didn't make sense to me, like, seriously, it's just so, ooh, that just made me mad. I think I don't think anybody was happy about that. <laughs> I was looking on Twitter and everybody's like, "Why well, wasn't Sean or a lot of people say Doug? I say Sean or Doug could have walked her down the aisle, but no, it was great. I don't understand that. I'd be glad when he's gone. I think it's in September, so two more months. Oh, I think I can survive. I survived this long. Anyways. Aside from Rafe being there, walking here, it was really cute. They had all, they had the vowel, vowels, 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 vowels. Just fuck it, Tori. You know, words they say why they're getting married. And they had the little flashbacks. I thought the flashbacks were a little long. I think they could have been a little shorter, but it was cute. And then Sean got up there with that giant fortune cookie. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know they can make them that big. I was like, I was like, is that real? Did or did they? I I guess you can really get one of those and have a special message put in them. But then it's like, if you do, then it doesn't feel uh, real. It's just um, I don't know. But I thought that was pretty cool. Maybe it's a California thing. I don't know. My nails are messed up, so I'm messing with them while I'm talking. <laughs> and a lot of people complained about where people were sitting. And I'm like, it's just some wedding people, y'all. Just <laughs> Twitter was just nitpicking every, every detail about this wedding. It was crazy. I get being mad about Rafe walking down the aisle, but you're getting mad about where people are sitting and and that people like Ben now. <laughs> ben over Claire who just got out. Yeah, that's like everybody forgave Ben for everything he did and then people mad that Claire won't can't be forgiven for what she's done. And I'm like, it took people forever to like Ben. It's gonna take people a while to like Claire again. Just deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, well, I, there's more I need to say on that. But hold on, let's talk about the bomb. So the bomb goes off and Ben and Sierra are about to leave. And Ben gets trapped in the little area between the door and then the outside door. And then the door to get into the where you sit. <laughs> and so Lonnie and Allie's babies were fine, which I was glad. I know I wasn't really paying attention to Allie. I'm sorry, girl. Lumi's big girl. I'm sorry, girl. I was just happy that Lonnie's baby was okay. I'm like, they better not... Ooh, they better not kill another one of Lonnie's babies. I was gonna jump through that. I found a way to get to California to lay it to smack down and, um, whoever's candy ass I needed to. Because if that happened <laughs> again... <laughs> I'm stupid. But, hold on. Okay, so the bomb goes off. And, so, first of all, how the hell did Doug 
and Julie and Marlena get out. <laughs> no problem. But everybody else is all you know, whatever. Then they had like two or three firemen come in as first responders. Um, really, a bomb just went off in a church full of people, and they bring in I can't remember. I think it was three firemen that came in, and they help. And um, they had Sean and Rafe help um move the thing or whatever was blocking the door where Ben was. And I'm like, you have civilians helping you. That's stupid. Anyways, and then they disappear. They were for there for like two scenes. <laughs> and then they disappear. And Rafe and Sean were going through stuff. O- opened the door and then went through this pile of rubble to try to get to Ben. And Ben wasn't there. He's in, we saw today he was in somebody's trunk. Probably the person that set the bomb, I'm sure. And the one that's been fucking with them for the last few weeks with the dress and then the um ring. Oh boy. It was like if the budget that's how you can't afford three guys to be firemen. And like you could just put them in take like one of the people that weren't working and like Brady. Like yes, like Brady. Where the fuck is Brady? He ain't go to nobody's wedding. And ain't nobody talk about him. He just, like, disappeared. I think the last time we saw him is when he was talking to Kristen. Yeah, they could have had Eric Marks off. And, um, who else we haven't seen? I don't know. Could have had Chad, um, what's Chad's real name? Billy? Billy? What the hell is his last name? I don't know. Anyway. They could have had those two as firemen and just had them with the hoods. The hats. <laughs> Shit, he could have threw an Eli. He left early. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help y'all out. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> Sierra, she takes, I guess he left one, Ben left one of his shoes. I guess it blew off an explosion. She's walking around the square with it. I was like, that is so cute, but then at the same time, I'm laughing my ass off. Like, she's holding it all tight to her chest. I'm like, I hope Ben's feet don't stink, but I guess she don't care. She's immune to it now or whatever. But I'm still laughing. That shit was funny. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay, stop it. And then she goes and she um, thinks Claire did it. And a lot of people are mad because she thinks Claire did it. And I'm like, Claire's the prime suspect. Okay, it doesn't make sense of how she would put a bomb together, but Claire's the prime suspect. She had access to the dress. She had access to the ring. And now the bomb. I mean, come on. Claire's the prime suspect. And Sierra's not in her right mind right now. Her wedding just exploded, and then her husband's missing. So she has every right to think that Claire did it. And we know Claire didn't do it. Somebody else did it because somebody else has been. So, but, yeah, you just got to watch the show. You can't overanalyze it and then not see. You have to be able to see the character's point of view. You gotta look at that. But some people's hate for Sierra is so strong that they can't understand what can't understand her or won't put themselves in her shoes. But whatever. We shall see what happens with that. But all in all, I enjoyed the wedding and the explosion was very it was very interesting. I liked it. Um I'm just really glad that they got married first. <laughs> but I really enjoyed was Thursday's episode after the explosion. Yeah, Thursday's episode was after the explosion. And I like that they focused all of it on everything focused on the explosion. Everybody that was the wedding and everybody who was at the wedding or connected to the people that were at the wedding, they were focused on and it's not that plus like random Chad BS shit. <sighs> anyway, 
<laughs> but I am missing my Stella. <laughs> we haven't seen them since last week when um Kayla cuddled up with Steve. So hopefully next week we'll see them again. Anyways, I will end this video by saying nothing mean about Rafe and his constipated ass, even though he had all that dirt on his face and he still looked constipated. <laughs> okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!